Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with your situation. And that's okay, just take what does and leave the rest behind. Alright, let's see what is coming in for Aries. Okay, hopefully everybody is doing well out there. Oh, okay, nice. All right, so Aries, beautiful. Bottom of the deck is a star card. So you can see that. And there you go. Um, I keep getting some wish fulfillment here, especially with this Nine of Cups and then the star card being there on the bottom. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, King of Cups, Chariot, Three of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so Aries, this could be referring to a partnership or a collaboration as far as like business goes. But either way, I feel you being extremely excited about it and really, really happy. Hmm. I do feel like there has been a little bit of like stagnancy, kind of being on the fence, like, you know, do I go left, do I go right? You know, having to make a choice. I'm kind of at that fork in the road of, what should I do from here? But I feel like, you know, you've really been, I feel like for a lot of you, you've kind of set your emotions to the side. Um, cause it's like you're kind of either one side or on the other a little too far by that. I mean, really into your emotions or really kind of thinking about this logically, but either way, I feel like you've kind of stepped back and I feel like you're finding that nice balance to, you know, how you're kind of looking at the situation. I feel like you're looking at the here and the now, but then also at the bigger picture, so again, you know, Aries, I do feel, oops, I do feel like for some of you, this is talking about a relationship, wanting to move forward, wanting to collab, wanting to form a partnership here. Um, for others of you, again, I feel like this is talking about a work situation or, you know, a project that you are trying to um, get, you know, taking off the ground. I do feel like for some of you too, this is talking about a promotion or it's like you've been wanting this and it's like, um, like job situation. This could be a new job. This could be a promotion. This could be... Um, you know, getting picked to, you know, do, uh, I don't know. I keep getting like picked to do like something you've been wanting to do. Hmm. But yeah, but I see like it's, it's going your way because I feel that wish fulfillment. I feel that happiness. Yeah. This is like faded for you. All right. Aries. But I feel like you are being patient. I feel like you weren't quick to rush in or anything. I feel like you just kind of step back and you just kind of, it's like you just kind of surrendered, you know, just kind of like let time like do its thing because I keep getting a sense of like patience. Okay. All right. Two of wands for Aries. Okay. So we have the three of inspiration, we have the page of voices, and we have the queen of voices. Okay, so these would be swords, and then this is wands. So with the two of wands here, like I said, with the three of wands, I do feel like you were made, you did make a decision. Um, and I feel like you made this decision to really kind of move forward, to kind of look at things from a different point of view, different perspective. Um, again, I feel a sense of patience, but then I feel like, especially with the chariot, like when the opportunity, you know, um, arose, it's like you took off, you took it and you ran with it. Um, you seen your chance, like I said, a chance at either a partnership or um, a collaboration and you know, it pans out for you. Um, with this page of voices or the page of swords, again, that's kind of just like what I keep getting biting my time. Um, so, you know, Aries, I don't know if you are, you know, just kind of watching and kind of biting your time, but that's what I kind of get with this. Um, with the queen of voices. Yeah. I just keep getting like, you're ready to take action. Okay. You just had to make that decision first. And I feel like once you made that decision, you are ready to go. Okay. King of cups. One more or two more. Excuse me. Okay, so with that King of Cups, we have the Knight of Emotions, we have the Priestess, and we have the Knight of Voices. So again, taking that decisive action here, um, I feel like you're going towards something here, something that you really got your heart in. 
I really kind of feel like you were, you mastered your emotions. Like, um, instead of being too emotional, too overly emotional about a situation or kind of quick to rush in, you know, again, I feel like you really kind of took your time. You really kind of thought something through. I keep getting that inner knowing, really listening to your intuition. Yeah, just letting like um, time reveal itself. Like this is like it's time now is what I keep getting. Like just patiently waiting. Like you would, you know the right time and you did because I feel you going for whatever it is that you're wanting here. Like I said, for some of you, this is talking about a relationship. For others of you, this is talking about like a career, a job, um, promotion, like something here, something big. Yeah, because then we have the Muse of Inspiration, which is the King of uh, Wands, the Nine of Inspiration, or the Nine of Wands, and then we have the Lover's card. Wow, okay. So definitely, like I said, taking action, feeling good, feeling confident. Um, you know, a little bit of kind of walls up here. Definitely some trials and tribulations. I feel like, you know, you've made some mistakes along the way, but you've learned from them. Um, and I feel like, again, you're, you're going towards something here for a lot of you. This is a relationship. So this could be someone that you already know for some of you, this is a brand new person. And I feel like you're just taking your chance because I do feel that sense of still having like your walls up, but I feel like you're taking that chance because you're feeling confident. Um, you feel that attraction between you and this person and you're going for it. Okay, um, so we have the Hermit card, the Five of Inspiration, and then the Devil card, uh, clarifying this Three of Pentacles. So I do feel like, you know, especially with this Five of Inspiration and the Devil card, you know, it's definitely taken you some time to get past some fear. Um, I do feel like it's been a struggle for you to kind of get past, you know, thing. I keep getting something from, the, from your past, trying to find like a balance here. Um, struggling to find a new opportunity or a new beginning. Hmm. Yeah, I can't, again, I keep getting that, like, biding your time, especially with the Hermit card. Uh, this really took some soul-searching for you to move forward. I feel like you really had to kind of wait. There's a lot of patience involved here. Okay, clarifying that Nine of Cups, please. Okay, we have the Four of Voices. Three of materials and then the full card. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I see you going towards a new beginning. Um, the three of materials, again, there was that three of pentacles, which is the same thing um, coming out. So this is actually coming out twice. And then the four of uh, voices, which would be the four of swords. You know, I really kind of feel like you, this is you just kind of resting. Again, kind of just being patient. Again, I keep getting, um, biding my time, waiting for the time, waiting till the time is right. I do feel like this is um, somebody really just kind of meditating. I keep getting meditating and contemplating with this. Um, with the three of materials, like I said, you know, this is definitely working towards something, wanting or seeing a partnership, seeing a companionship, seeing a collaboration that's really just going to make this work. Hmm. With the full card, new beginning, I felt, you know, taking that leap of faith. But I get that it leads you towards wish fulfillment, towards happiness. Look how free she looks. Just that free and happy. Okay. All right, so let's get some love angels or romance angels, I guess. Yeah, I keep getting something is revealed to you. So this could be somebody has feelings for you. This could be, again, a big opportunity that is coming your way. But I, I just keep getting like something is revealed to you here. Or it will be revealed. Okay, so we have keep an open mind. We have chemistry. So definitely going towards a strong magnetic attraction here, especially with that lovers. And there could be a little bit of a distance between the two of you. <clears throat> again, I keep getting some kind of obstacle right now, and I feel like that's why somebody here is kind of patiently waiting. So there could possibly be, you know, somebody's involved in a relationship already, um, or, you know, I keep getting a work situation is kind of getting in the way as well. <clears throat> 
excuse me, but um, I do feel like, you know, again, there's a lot of chemistry here, and I do feel that, you know, that gap is going to be closed. I feel there's going to be, um, that distance is no longer going to be there, and I feel like, you know, again, you're you're going to make your move, or they're going to make their move towards you here, Aries. Um, keep an open mind. Just kind of reminds us to, you know, stay flexible. Life doesn't always go as we plan it, so, you know, we just have to kind of roll with it. And also that soulmate may can be completely different than the person that you have planned in your mind. So, all right, let's get some angel numbers. <clears throat> For any extra messages, please. Angel numbers. For Aries. Okay. Okay, so we have 222. Two, two. The necessary seeds have been planted on your journey. Remain patient as they begin to gestate. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, bottom of the deck, 717. An encounter with your twin flame could be on the horizon. All right, so Aries, um, especially with that one, like I said, I kept getting like biding your time, kind of waiting to make your move. And that is really kind of what that is saying to me, kind of confirming that for me. All right, so let's get some charms. So right away, this little guy who flew over here catches my eye, and I do get some communication here. Um, again, I keep getting a sense of freedom, especially with that anchor kind of being anchored down. Um, I do feel like somebody has just been kind of like weighted down or, again, kind of patiently waiting. But I get a sense of freedom with that. So could have been feeling tied down, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's sweet freedom. You know, it's been released. Um, with the bat, I keep getting a new direction here. With a star within a star, I keep getting like um, destined, like something that was faded, something that is destined. Again, this kind of takes me back to the lover's card. Let's see. With the little sun that's like kind of popping out of the clouds there, kind of revealing that clarity to a kind of, you know, foggy situation here, kind of a cloudy situation, getting that clarity that you need. Um, with the little gymnast, again, kind of going back to that keep an open mind card of remaining flexible. Um, with the little owl, I do feel like, you know, somebody has been, again, kind of that um, watching type of feeling, um, going going back to that page of swords here, um, or the page of voices. Um, I do feel like, you know, again, somebody's just been watching. They could be watching your social media, um, things like that, just kind of like patiently waiting to, you know, make their move. Um, again, there's another sun, so talking about abundance, happiness, um, joy. So it does feel like it's taking a little while, but you do get there. With a little saw, I do feel like you're cutting out. Um, this could be a person. This could be some, you know, situations, um, you know, kind of cutting out fear, whatever it is that's kind of keeping you, you know, held back, um, keeping you from moving forward. I feel like you're cutting it out. With a little heart. Okay, so I do feel like, again, that lover's card, that's taking me back there. But I keep getting um, opposites attract with those particular hearts. Okay, somebody could, oops. Somebody could be a little dog lover here. Um... I keep getting like, yeah, okay, I am getting loyalty, but I keep getting like somebody's a dog lover, but I keep getting like somebody just like recently adopted a pet. Um, okay, and I keep getting something about training, training them, okay? Um, so with the little airplane, again, I was picking up that there could be distance for some of you, and I do feel like that's what's going on here. Um, also with the little dolphin. Very spiritual, very smart, again, very intuitive as well. And one that just kind of, you know, goes with the flow, but likes to have a little fun, too. Um, with this little heart, with the little boy and the girl here, you know, again, I do feel like you're going to be, you know, coming, um, you know, in contact with, like, a soulmate or a strong soul connection here. Um, this person could possibly have children, or maybe you have children, or it's like, I do feel like you both have children, and it's just kind of like a blending of families. But again, I do feel like it just kind of works. And then the last little charm here, the little Eiffel Tower uh, 3D. Again, I do feel like there's wish fulfillment. I do feel like, again, something about travel, um, uh, scenery. I keep getting like somebody like um, doing some sightseeing or something. So obviously, probably not right now, safe to say, um, <laughs> but possibly could be soon. So, all right. Well, Aries, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, take care.